The night sky has long been a source of wonder and fascination for humans. For millennia, we have gazed up at the stars, seeking to understand the mysteries of the universe. And when celestial bodies align, it can create a breathtaking display. On certain occasions, the moon can appear to align with other planets in the solar system, like Jupiter and Venus. This event, known as a conjunction, occurs when two or more celestial bodies appear to be in close proximity as viewed from Earth. Conjunctions occur when planets or other celestial bodies are aligned in such a way that they appear to be close together in the sky. These events can be observed with the naked eye, but they are particularly spectacular when viewed through a telescope. And when the Moon aligns with Jupiter and Venus, it can create a mesmerizing sight in the night sky. This alignment is often referred to as the smiley face conjunction, as the three celestial bodies can appear to form a smiley face in the sky. The two all-month-long brightest planets, Venus and Jupiter, will respectively near the Moon on Wednesday and Thursday while getting closer to each other. A conjunction is an astronomical phenomenon occurring when two celestial objects share the same right ascension or ecliptic longitude in the sky. Once every 27.3 days, the Moon passes through a narrow part of the sky centered on the ecliptic and encounters planets. Moon-planet conjunctions take place more frequently than planetary conjunctions. How to spot? On February 22nd, Venus will reach conjunction with the Moon in the constellation Pisces at 3.57 p.m., Beijing time. The appulse that is two planets have the smallest apparent distance as seen from Earth, will occur at 5.41 p.m. On February 23rd, the waxing crescent moon located in the constellation Cetus will reach conjunction with Jupiter which is in the neighboring constellation Pisces at around 6 a.m. The appulse of the duo will occur about an hour later. On February 28th, the moon will make its closest approach to Mars. The two celestial objects will rise higher in the northern hemisphere. Although Mars will not be as bright as Venus and Jupiter, its pale pink appearance is also worth an observation. Venus and Jupiter will reach a conjunction on March 2, 2023. Stargazers and astronomers alike eagerly await these rare events, and many gather to observe and capture the sight through telescopes or cameras. These events are not just beautiful, they also offer valuable scientific insights. Astronomers can use conjunctions to learn more about the orbits and properties of the planets and other celestial bodies in our solar system. The solar system is a complex and dynamic place, with each planet and moon moving in its own unique orbit. Conjunctions can help us to better understand the patterns and movements of these celestial bodies. Conjunctions are rare events, and they are always eagerly anticipated by astronomers and stargazers alike. But the next conjunction of the Moon with Jupiter and Venus is set to occur on March 26, 2023, so mark your calendars. During the conjunction, the Moon will appear to pass by Jupiter and Venus, creating a stunning visual display. This can be a great opportunity for stargazers and astronomers to observe and capture this event through telescopes or cameras. If you are planning to observe the conjunction, be sure to use a telescope or binoculars to get a closer look. And don't forget to dress warmly and bring plenty of snacks and hot drinks. Many amateur astronomers enjoy setting up telescopes and sharing the experience with others. Conjunctions can be a great opportunity to meet like-minded people and share your passion for astronomy. The night sky never ceases to amaze us, and these celestial alignments remind us just how vast and wondrous the universe truly is. Whether you are a seasoned astronomer or a curious stargazer, be sure to mark your calendars for the next conjunction of the Moon with Jupiter and Venus. It's an event you won't want to miss. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the cosmos. Until next time, keep looking up.